I'm really excited that they're bringing back season one because so many people had been asking about season one because it hadn't been on TV and there was all these different rumors as to what was going on and why they weren't showing it. And so many people didn't even know who we were from season one. And thank God for All Stars that I was on All Stars because you could see who I was and people got a feel for me. Where I call home these days um, is Long Beach, California. Bow wow wow yippee yay yippee yay Snoop Dogg, that's his home. Um, and I call it um, home because it feels good. It's just a beautiful um, city. It's a busy city, but it's, it's busy, but not as busy as Hollywood. And it's just, it's close to everything. And it's a close driving distance. And I call Long Beach home. There's plenty of great eateries and nice people. It's a very diverse city. Yes, I'm still performing. Um, how many times a week? It varies. I mean, I can perform three times a week to um, once a week, or I can perform not at all. And but yet, I'm I'm working on projects constantly. Like I rehearse every Wednesday night with um, Kelly Mantles and Michael Caddy because we're in the group, the Rolls Royces, Rolls Royces with a Z, like Zapata. Mm -hmm. There's several of them that I get along so well with. Um, Raven was one of my favorites because I've known Raven for such a long time. Um, I like the Jinx Monsoon. I like her a lot. She's my favorite winner so far, I must say. We had a good time in Provincetown um, doing a fundraiser for Wells, the Well Extravaganza. Just because you dress in drag doesn't necessarily mean that you have to be on RuPaul's Drag Race. Doesn't necessarily mean that you have to perform in a nightclub. Doesn't necessarily mean that you're an entertainer. Because there's many mediums to drag and what you're doing with, what you can do with drag and as yourself as an artist. Um, it's how you do your drag and what you do with it. Doesn't necessarily mean you have to be famous. And I think people need to get off that, trying to be famous all the time with what they're doing. And if you're an entertainer, you're an entertainer, that's great. But keep entertaining. But there's many other ways to do your drag. I mean, you can have tea parties and invite people over. Drag Race, for the most part, has helped me with the exposure. And I'm thankful, I was bitter season one about being eliminated and the way things are done, being that it's a reality show. But I'm not bitter and I'm really thankful that I was on this RuPaul's Drag Race and I'm part of the phenomenon. And it's helped me with exposure. Oh, well, one time I got a fan asked me if I would send my nylons over to them. And um, I sent my nylons over to them. Why not? It's kind of reminds me of Sunset Boulevard. And if you don't know what Sunset Boulevard is, please Google it. Gloria Swanson's in it. A real icon, Gloria Swanson. Thank you so much for this opportunity to be here. Um, I'm enjoying my life and I'm excited to be part of it all. And uh, my album Hot Skunks is going to land real soon and uh, there's other singles on um, iTunes. So please check them out and check me out city to city.